Three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. TTM Trades. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing our daily review on Ticket BPMX, AKER, and I might, and I'm going to do one on ANTH because that's the stock I'm currently in right now. And then I might do an extra one, man, because I, I got to catch up for Monday. Tuesday is Wednesday. So I owe you three daily reviews minimum. So let's just jump right into it. We have 1,064 subscribers. I deeply appreciate every single one of you, man. I wanted to reach a thousand before I went out to see. I come back, I got a thousand sixty four. So again, we're aiming for ten thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We can get it, we can achieve it. I appreciate every single one of you. 2.4 thousand followers on the stock twits. If you got an account, follow me, man, so that way I can continue adding value to your trades and we can do some uh stock talk. All right, so let's jump right into it. Let's look at ticker. BPMX, is it time to get in? Let's just do a peer chart analysis. Let's get rid of all the lines. Let's mark up the chart. All right, so ticker BPMX, as you can see here, and I'm doing it live, man. Normally I got everything marked up already, So, but we're going to do it right here on the spot. So as you can see, BPMX is on this nice uptrend. As you can see here, price action riding the trend line, nice and beautiful. Nice little spike up, came back down, tapped the trend line, rose back up came back down tapped the trend line and now it's consolidating right above it now why did it stop right here at 20 and a half cents fibonacci retracement all right if you look at the fibonacci retracement when we go from the bottom to the top from 10 cents to 38 cent and we're gonna mark this green because i normally knock my mark my fib retracement green because those are my profit target points so if you look, it has fully retraced all the way back down to its 61.8% retracement right at 21 cent. And as you can see, it's consolidating right above it. At the same time, it tapped the trend line and it's holding above the trend line. So is this a safe place to make an entry based off the Fibonacci retracement? Uh, that's one. So let's just use the Fibonacci retracement. 21 cent currently uh, consolidating right above 21 cent. All right, let's now let's get rid of that. Come on now, disappear. There you go. Now let's just look at. Let's go back to doing basic uh, support and resistance. So right here, this last uh, top out was right here, give or take, right at 20 cent, and then support was right down here in this channel right at 17 so as you can see on this downtrend found support nice and heavy in that area ran and got back up came back down fell right back into this channel 20 cent was still resistance had the gap down all right so we finally broke back up into this channel as you can see here pushing back into that 20 21 cent stayed in that channel again fell back down to that trend line and then we gapped and ran away all the way up to 37 and a half cents. So I'm not going to mark the trend line up there because the bulls didn't have enough strength to close it up there. So the last recent price range, the bulls had enough strength to close it at was right here, give or take 34 to 35 cents. All right. So you had this nice little downtrend. All right. So current support, looking at it, price range anywhere from 20 to 21 cent in this general area, the channel that it is currently working in as you can see here on this downtrend right there closed right here before it fell under broke back through and then fell back under so we're sitting right in this channel okay so a lot of lines right here so let's just focus on the main lines right now so looking at this Fibonacci retracement says right above 21 is a 61.8% retracement. Also, at the same time, if you look at past resistance, remember old resistance should become new support. Past resistance is right at 20 cent. So the price action is hovering right above that 20 to 21 cent. Okay. At the same time, keep in mind, we're getting early signs of a possible reversal because the CCI has crossed above its 10 period moving average. If you look at all this time right here the cci wants to cross below that 10 period moving average excuse me right here on that 10 period moving average signaling a reversal coming it has stayed below the 10 period moving average the whole time try to come back above reject it let's move that big circle 
and then it stayed under the entire time. Now we finally hit an oversold status with a break above the 10 period moving average and we're holding above it. So possible reversal here in the works. What you want to see is some continuous consolidation above that 20 to 21 cent. If that 20 cent seems to fail for any reason, then what you have next is the trend line that is still trending up based off the um, uptrend and all the pullbacks, which is currently at 19 cents. So we want to see that 20 to 21 cent hole with some consolidation. It looks like your RSI is trying to push back and cross this 10 period moving average to show that momentum is shifting in the bull's favor. So just watch this general area. But if I was a betting man, I would possibly say a reversal will be uh, starting back up here pretty soon. So keep an eye out as long as this trend line continues to hold, as you can see here on the tap for support. And we get that consolidation above 2021, 20 we should be good for the reversal. All right, next, let's talk about ticker AKER. All right, so let's look at ticker AKER. Let's mark up the chart. So, looking at ticker AKER, we was on this nice uptrend from 12 all the way up. Where are we at? right there there we go so we was on this nice uptrend as you can see made a high pull back into the trend line made a higher high pull back into the trend line higher high pull back into the trend line higher high but this one was on a lower volume than the previous two see how these two volume spikes all three of these volume spikes one two three each time it made a higher high was on increased volume and then this high right here was on lower than average volume that is when i forewarned everybody who was trading anchor and or buying shares of anchor that they might want to watch out for a reversal and then even on this higher high here if you look down that little volume spike down here showed there was no interest in that price range up there all right so uh that's when i started warning other traders of a reversal pending and in fact so now that this trend line which was acting as support has now turned into resistance as you can see here you get the bounce one two three four and then it falls to that trend line and it's trying to break back above it tries to come above it can't hold fail tries to break back above it again it cannot fails and then you get this major drop down this major sell off so now we need to identify areas of support so we know 36 was one area of support because we was trying to play the gap fill, right? We got the gap fill when we started talking about this back at 15 cents early January. So we got the gap fill. So that was our first area of support, all right? And then from there, we pushed up, and the highest the bulls could close it was right here in this area, right at 50 cents, all right? So now that looks like the current line of support. So we'll make this green, and we'll make this one yellow. So as you can see, the price action pulled back into this last line of resistance right here. Um, and this is where the price action is currently consolidating right above it. Now, if for some strange reason this 50 cent cannot hold and the price action uh, fails to hold that 50 cent, then that's going to put you back down here in this channel at 36 cent. All right. So and when you fall back into this channel, then now you're in that 36 to 50 cent uh, channel with 50 cent now become a resistance so you definitely want to try to hold above this 50 cent now what is the current resistance current resistance will be right here right where the bulls were able to close the price action right here uh, prior to falling back down so you're looking at that window from 50 to 75 cent currently that is the channel that you are currently in right now your cci has kind of hit oversold and your rsi has pulled all the way back down to the 40 rsi which still somewhat leaves this in a bullish trend let me show you what i'm talking about anytime a stock is going to stay in a bullish trend it will maintain above 40 It'll find the 40 and 50 cent area as support. So if you look at this, ticker AKER is still very bullish. All right, even though it had a 50% drop from 98 down to 46 cent, the trend is still very bullish. Okay, anytime, I mean, look how bullish this stock has ran. 
nonstop. Okay, so it needed to pull back. It definitely needed to pull back, and that's what it's currently doing right now. Um, but the trend is still bullish. The reason being, anytime a stock is in a very bullish trend, it will stay above 40 RSI. It will find the 40 and 50. Okay, so pretty much, oh, chest burn. When a stock is in a very bullish trend, it will range between, as far as the RSI, 40 to 80. All right. So as you see, even though the RSI is pulling back, it still found support right in this 40 area and it's holding above. Now, if your stock breaks through the 50 support and the RSI falls outside of this 40 range and starts trending downward, now you are on a major downtrend with a major sell off coming. So those who are looking to try to make an entry, I would try to play your entry right in that 50 range verifying that that area is going to hold prior to again if that 50 range doesn't hold then it's going to drop you back down here in that 35 cent channel that the price section was in last time before the big breakout and you want to make sure your rsi holds above 40 the entire time the 10 period moving average is beginning to come down so what you want to see is the rsi hold above 40 and then get a break above that 10 period to show that the momentum is shifting back in the bull's favor if the 10 period moving average continues to come down and then the RSI gets rejected by the 10 period moving average and breaks below 40, then you are heading onto a major downtrend. So those who are trying to trade the stock just right and play their entries just right, I would say play it right into this uh, high 40 to low 50 cent range and try to get that bounce back up into this high of 98 cent for a possible 80 to 100% spread, well, 80 to 100% gain. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, that's that's just where we're at with ticker RSI it has been in a very, very bullish uptrend and it has pulled back uh, heavily uh, to cool off. Now, if we was just to do a Fibonacci retracement. Right, right at 98 cent. Let's let's darken this up so we can see what we're doing. And let's move all the lines that we talked about. If we were to do a Fibonacci retracement, you can see that from the bottom to its peak, a pair of 98 cent, even on the pullback, it's pulled all the way back to 61.8% retracement right at 45 cents. So as long as you hold, if, if we were to base our trading style off support and resistance, and try to incorporate the Fibonacci, which is what a tool that other traders utilize. I'm going to say even as low as 45. As long as the price action holds above the 61.8% retracement at 45 cent, up to that 50 cent window we was talking about, then you're good. If you break below that 45 cent, then it's done. The stock is going to go on a major downtrend and a complete sell off. So, let me change what I said. Try to play your entry at that 45 cent. As I said last time, uh, me warning everybody prior to the stock actually breaking down. What's this? The 10th. I said yesterday at nine o'clock in the morning, look for entries around 46. I know a lot of people may not want to hear that, but it's looking for support on its weekly, um, on its weekly, on its weekly 20 SMA. And then sure enough, the stock dropped down to that 45 to 46 cent range. So play your entries right at the 45. Try to get that bounce back up to 98 cent for 100% gain. Oh, I said I was out, man. I forgot one last one, one last one. So take an A and TH. This is the one that I am currently in and playing right now. So take an A and TH. Uh, as you can see, had this nasty gap down on some phase three trial failure or something like that i don't know some news um but the way i look at it the bad news is out the way right so now we're trying to play the bottom and get a nice swing uh, i made my entry right at 31 cents seeing that there was a double test of that 31 cent as you can see here and then another test of 31 and then on this test right here i entered right at 31 where it pulled back to 30 and got in uh, so right now we're having these swings up to 35 cent as you can see the bollinger bands are beginning to come in and constrict 
Uh, like I tell all of my followers, anytime the Bollinger Bands are beginning to constrict, that tells you that the stock has low volatility and that there's a possible breakout here very soon. Now, why do I think the breakout will possibly be in the bull's favor? So the RSI, as you can see here, uh, has been flatlined with its 10 period moving average for the longest. If you look here, it's beginning to break out above that 10 period moving average to show that the momentum is picking up in the bull's favor. Even the on balance volume, which is the running average of the volume, as you can see, the volume was on a nice downtrend um, non stop, showing that there was a lot of selling, and then all of a sudden. The on balance volume has begun to double bottom trend sideways and it's starting to tick up with showing that there's accumulation in the process and the bulls are coming in to accumulate the shares. OK, so we have momentum and we have volume being picked up at the same time with the bottom of the bands constricting. All we need is a break above our 20 period moving average, which will put us in that bullish zone above the 20 period moving average, which the current resistance is right at 35. So we've tested 35. Uh, here on two different occasions one right here and then we tested it again today so tomorrow if we can get a break above 35 and a hold then that will put us in the bullish zone as far as our Bollinger Bands and then that will signal a possible breakout to the upside uh, possible profit targets um, looking at this last area in which the bulls were able to uh, close the price action which is right at 50 cents so I'm gonna try to play that 31 to 50 cent spread um, and get a 19 cent gain for a possible 60 to 70 percent return on my cash and then get out wait for the pullback and then try to make a re-entry but this stock is definitely picking up momentum and the on balance volume is definitely signaling that shares are being accumulated and that the volume is beginning to trend upwards. So I will keep an eye on ticker ANTH. Uh, the current bottom is 31 cent, 30 to 31 cent, and the current resistance is right at 35. So that's the ticker I am currently playing. Um, and then I would also keep an eye on ticker PULM POM, which is beginning to do the exact same thing um, as you can see here the RSI was trending down and finally broke above its 10 period moving average uh, even the volume was on a major sell off and then the double bottom right here showing that the uh, bulls were coming in to try to accumulate shares at this nice run up in volume and now has pulled back so what we want to see is I'll probably give this one another week or so of consolidation and then we want to see a clean breakout of our RSI above that 10 period moving average and the on balance volume beginning to tick up and break above its 10 period moving average to show that there's some accumulation at play so I would possibly start walking, watching ticker PULM uh, next week but definitely ticker ANTH is on the move and I wouldn't be surprised if I see a possible breakout Friday prior to the market closing for the week. All right, TTM Trades, now I am out. Uh, till next time. Griffin, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.